brought five women to make up for the six. So if you have two men, you have four women to make up for the six. So if you have three men, then you have three women to make up for the six. So this will be where we are going to stop. Because why, can, why can't we go for that? Simply because the number of men, the maximum number of men is three. So we can't say four men because you have the maximum three. So we have attained the maximum. So what we need to do now is to say for the first one we have an addition will be in between them. We have nine combination five. Nine combination five times three combination one. Three combination one. Plus the second one. Nine combination four times three combination two. Plus the third one. Nine combination three plus three combination, sorry, times three combination three. So we find this, we add it to this, we add it to this. That is the way we have to go. So by so doing, I have the first one, nine combination five, and that will give me 126. So this one is 126 times three combination one that is three plus nine combination four that is 126 126 times three combination two that is three plus nine Combination 3, that is 84, times 3, combination 3, that's 1, 84, 1. Now, let's now sum them up. 120, 126 times 3, that is 378, plus 126 times 8, uh, times 3 again, that is 378. 8 plus 84 times 1, 84. So we have 378 plus 378 plus 84. And that will give us 840. So the number of ways a committee of six can be formed from this information is 840 ways. So let's see questions. There are 21 UTME questions structured on this topic and I can bet with you that at the end of this exercise you will be rest assured that there is no question that you will come by in the exam and you will not be able to provide solution to. So all you need to do is to be attentive and so that you can collect the vital information that you need to excel in the exam. Now, the next topic is statistics. Under statistics, the first one we have is representation of data. Under the representation of data, we have frequency distribution, histogram, bar chart, and pie chart. Under histogram, we have frequency distribution talks about how values are being, di are being distributed with respect to their frequency. That is what that one is talking about. Then, moving to histogram, a representation on a set or sets of data where we have rectangle of equal class width connecting, they are connected. Different rectangles are connected. So what am I saying? If you have a scenario like this, such that you have a rectangle, but this rectangle must be of what? equal with. Take note of that. I might not be accurate. This is just a sketch. 
So when you see a scenario like this, you call it what? Histogram. Where this can be our parameters of interest, then this one will be our corresponding frequency. But there is no space in between the bar. So in that situation, they are connected, no space in between the bar. So we're talking about histogram. Then if you talk about bar chart, bar chart also looks like histogram. But the difference between them is that in the case of bar charts, there will be spaces between the respective bar. And the spaces are equal. They are of equal. So something like this. Don't mind my... I might not be accurate. This is just a freehand sketch. So when you see a scenario like this, you call it what? A bar chart. Then the pie chart is the next one. On, in the pie charts, information are represented in a cycle. Information are represented in a cycle. So it, it can be given, let's say, degrees for respective subjects. Maybe English, Maths, can have Biology, can have Physics, and you can have Chemistry, and you can have maybe Econs as economics. So when you have this information being represented with their corresponding degree, because the sum of angle at the point is 360. So the information for this subject will be represented in a circle. So that is what is called pie chart. Then we we'll move on. Candidates should be able, objective, candidates should be able to identify and interpret frequency distribution tables. Also, interpret information on histogram, bar chart, and pie chart. Then the second one now is measures of location. So if you are talking about measures of location, we'll be talking about measures of central tendency. And if you are talking about me measures of central tendency, we'll be talking about mean, mode, and median of on group and group data. Simply and uh, simple cases that are considered. Then cumulative frequency. So if you are talking about this, we know that if you are talking about mean, we can have mean for on group, we can have mean for on grouped, on grouped and grouped data. So in this situation, we can have, also have median, then we also have mode. So in this situation, if you are to calculate the mean, mean is usually represented by what x bar. So if you are to calculate the mean for group data, it will be summation of x over n. Why for group data it is x bar summation of f of x all over summation of f that is for group data. Take note of that for me. Then median median is usually what the middle number. If you are given a number, a set of numbers that are what the odd median is very easy to calculate, but if the numbers are even then it will be somehow tricky. In that situation, you bring, what am I saying? If you have one, two, three, four, five, for example, and the question asks us to find the median, all we need to do is to just go to the middle number, which is three. So three will be the median. For a case whereby you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see that on this one is even now. In this respect, we have two on this side, we have two on this side. So we have these two middle number. So if you want to calculate the median here, we add them up, which is 7, and we divide it by 2, and that will be 3.5. That will definitely be the median. So there is no more, there are, as far as median is concerned, we don't have, it is not as technical as mean and mode. And in the case of mode, mode is the number that are called most. So if you are having 1,1, 2,2,3, 2,2, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 2,3, 
the mode is usually calculated by saying Li plus D1 over D1 plus D2 open bracket multiplied by this is not raised to power, this is multiplied so multiply by C where C is a class weight so if you have to calculate the mode of group data this is the formula you have to apply where Li is the lower boundary of the modal class lower boundary of the modal class why D1 is is simply the, the lower so D1 is the difference between the frequency of the modal class and that of the difference between the frequency of the modal class and that of the one before it. What am I saying? So D1 is frequency, the difference in frequency of the modal class, modal class minus the frequency of the one of the one before it. Take note of that. So y d2 is the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the one after it. So that's the difference. Frequency of the modal class minus frequency frequency of the one of the one after it. That is that. Take note of that. Then the last one is C, which is called class width. C is the class width, and so on and so forth. So also we need to consider some other things which is what is known as cumulative frequency cumulative frequency is calculated in preference or it is calculated having in mind the frequency of a distribution so if you have the frequency of a distribution let's say one two three four five six seven and you have to calculate the cumulative frequency so it will just be let's say this plus this so you can have one, then you have this plus this three, this plus this six, this plus this, this plus this, that is ten, this plus this fifteen, this plus this twenty-one, this plus this twenty-eight. That is, I'm just using that as an example. So there is a way we calculate it. So following that same pattern, frequency. Then you add this up, you get this, 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 add this up, you get this. That is the trend. Though, because of the fact that this one is just extracted as an example, when you see a typical cases, you understand how we are meant to calculate the cumulative frequency. I just want to give a summary of the measures of central tendency, measures of variation and measures of dispersion known as the parameters for statistics initially in, my, in our previous lesson i have elaborated on these three parameters as far as uh, measure of central tendency is constant uh, are concerned